Uh, all right, my doctor's orders, doctor's orders, people. Oh my lord, this light is horrible. All right, so how about I do this? Oh, oh my god, that makes it even worse. All right, my doctor's orders, people. I'm just hitting you guys up. I know it's been a while, so I'm still posting these uh, videos that I recorded like two months ago. Um, I hopefully you all are hitting it hard. Last time I checked, is nine of you hitting this challenge, so you gotta hit this challenge hard. You know, it's gonna be 60 days of pain, 60 days. Now, here's, here's, here's what you gotta realize. The one thing that's gonna keep you from not achieving your goals is the ability to do things right now for the long-term goal. It's called discipline, trust me. At this point, with the internet and your friends with me, you probably know a lot of other fit people. The information is there. You know, as far as DVD programs and gyms, like the information on these DVDs are there. As far as speech body products, the information is here. As far as doing my 60-day program, so you have information about how to hit your workouts hard from people who know how to give it to you. Okay. Now, as far as eating healthy, you all pretty much know, in general, how to eat healthy. Now, if you have specific goals, like if you're trying to gain more muscle, gain more power, or trying to reach a certain goal in a certain amount of time, okay, that requires some one-on-one -on -one attention. But as far as just eating generalized healthy, you guys know, one good rule of thumb, and this is not for everyone, but you're pretty much just going to eat. Uh, multiply your lean body weight times 10. It's pretty much a ballpark figure just for lay people, and then you, we could get all specific into it later on um, as I give you more detailed stuff. But take your lean body mass um, times 10 is the total amount of calories you want to eat. And then kind of almost you're going to break up your macros, uh, probably one-third each. Now I'm gonna I'm gonna tell you you probably want to be a little bit more heavier on a protein if you're trying to lean out. So you're trying to lean out, make that 50 to 40 percent uh, of that protein. But if you want to do a generalized, you know, uh, rough layman's term, you can pretty much follow those two rules. The problem is most people aren't even eating close to what they should eat. No one's not even eating, not even doing close to the type of workouts that they're doing. You know, people fumble around in the gym for two hours. I know people who work out twice a day, but they don't have results. People who claim to have certain diets, but they're not losing weight. The science is there. The math is there. If you're not where you are, it's because you're missing that key piece of discipline. The information is there. If you don't have access to the information, hit me on any coach up. I'll give you the information. I'll point you in the right direction. As far as diet, hit me up. I'm happy to say later on this year, I'm going to have a nutritional certification. So I'll be able to offer you nutritional advice, workout advice, and medical advice. Okay. So doctor's orders, you got to hit it hard. If you don't hit your results, look back and figure out what are some of the obstacles in your life. What are some of the physical obstacles? What are some of the mental obstacles? You got to hit it hard. You got to stay focused. I'm on my own personal journey. I'm still competing in CrossFit, but I'm going to hit a physique competition this coming mid-June. Okay. So that's my health and fitness um, journey. You know, I find fitness fun. So to me, it's not as much of a struggle, but I like to eat. Hey, so um, I love, 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 love to eat. So my dog is over here. So you guys hit it hard. It's been a while. I'm still watching you guys on that wall. I just have a lot going on with working at the hospital, being a family man, and staying on top of my beach body people as well as my doctor's orders people. So, but I'm still watching you guys. I still care about you guys. I still want you to be, want you to have the best results possible. I strongly believe. Everyone can be the best version of themselves. I I don't know if everyone can end up being an Olympic athlete or the strongest person or fastest person. But trust me, when I look around in this world, so many people are living so far below their potential. I'm not saying everybody can have a four or 500 pound squat, but you shouldn't have any problems if you haven't had any surgeries or any other major issues squatting down just regular body weight. Let alone putting a couple of hundred on your back. Okay. You should be able to pull up your own weight. I'm not saying you should be able to. Every person should be able to do 50 pull-ups nonstop. But at least try to be strong enough to do that once or twice. Pull up your body. I'm not even asking for a lot. Pull up your body weight. We'll do one or two pull-ups, and I'll be happy with that. Full extension chin above the bar. So that's what I mean. We have to, A lot of people aren't living up to their full potential. 
do a full push-up. I'm not saying you have to do 120 push-ups nonstop like one good person I know, but at least be able to do at least maybe anywhere between five to ten full push-ups, hand release push-ups, which I love. That's one of my favorite moves in CrossFit. I don't want to get off any tangent, but that's one of my favorite moves in CrossFit. Of course, there's a bunch of other moves in CrossFit I think are kind of dangerous, but I love CrossFit. But I still have my criticism of CrossFit. All right. A lot. Okay, guys. Hopefully this video isn't too dark. Probably is. Bye, right, peace.